lot going on, slow. Again, working from a near side short hook. Pull him into my crab ride, my knees up, I'm getting my points. He tries to get out by pushing up my knee, I snatch my near side short hook. Let's look at that again. I have my half and tight waist, he pushes up my knee. I snatch and push it off right here, boom. See I took both off, let's do that one more time. Pushing on my knee with both hands, I take both off, bring my knee back up. Now he can't jump over my knee anymore, jump over it. Right, he can't jump over it, I control him here. He tries to roll to his belly to get off his back. I tuck the short hook behind his back here. Notice where my arm is. So many people do this and they blow it, you have no weight here. You need to be here. You can keep this arm, you're trying to roll your belly right now, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's my position, he's trapped here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start circling around the head and pinch his head between my knees. Once his head is pinched between my knees, I'm gonna put the thread through the needle, punch it in, and I'm gonna twist with my knees and drive into him a little bit to get him more on his back. Once here, I settle back. I'm in now my cement mixer position. Okay, we can crunch that neck up tight, and I can look to get my full post leg up so we can't bridge, and I'm probably gonna end up putting my head on the mat. Go ahead, try to bridge. Right? If he tries to bridge, his post leg will stop him. If I don't have that post leg, he'll bridge through. Go ahead. Boom, he'll bounce that leg. And I'm probably gonna get reversed. So, again, important is to remember. Half the tight waist and the up my crank, close up my knee, snatch it. He rolls to his belly. Trap my short hook. Don't chase it. Circle, pinch. Thread the needle, boom. Keep this tight right now, I don't want to get it in there. Close your arm, boom, right? I can't get it in there. I dig it in there, I fight it in there, boom. Can you get that arm out now? Boom. This is just a complex setup for our cement mixer. Twist them up a little bit, boom. Mixer, favorite pinning position. I love this position. Boom, that's that. Game over, okay? Great move. Same way. Oh, you're going? Oh, go away from me. Go away from me. Go away from me. Okay, so sometimes you'll see when you go live here and you're looking for that cement mixture after you thread the needle, sometimes it's like he's going to pop out and it's not the best idea. Sometimes it's staying on his side. So, once we catch that short hook position, right, boom, when he rolls to his belly, sometimes all I need to do is come underneath and grab the chin. And now I'm going to circle my head into the armpit until my head is all the way down to the mat. Notice this arm is going to pull him back. And important, this, don't just hold here, but drive his, his nose into his chest, which is going to mobilize him. Right now his neck is still strong, he can use neck muscles. But if I push in here a little bit, go ahead and use your neck now. Now he's just trapped. This can put a lot of weight on his head driving here, getting off my toes. Put my face towards the mat. If he rolls into me, maybe I bring it back up on his chest, switch back and forth, but there's really no getting out from here. Good. 